Okay, this is a great uh, comment from Merrick Kaspersky on special effects and memory athletics. So uh, this is this is really cool. It's kind of an exciting type of um, message to get. So he says, eight-time world memory champion Dominic O'Brien is a good friend of mine. He taught me Seahorse, an acronym, when using the three basic elements of memory and recall. Imagination, association, and location. So Dominic O'Brien is one of the big inspirations for the course, um, amongst many others. Because uh, while Dominic O'Brien hasn't necessarily, although I, I do think he actually does have some uh, involvement in China and uh, perhaps some Chinese learning. He's not. That's not specifically his thing. His main thing is, you know, coming up with great memory champion techniques so that he could win the world memory championships eight times. And we've, you know, looked at a lot of his resources to try to understand what are some of the ways that you can improve your scenes throughout using the Henza movie method. And so he has this acronym called Seahorse, and we'll go through it now to talk about how these different elements can make you better at the Henza movie method. So Seahorse, S stands for senses. Use all your senses, smell, sight, hearing, touch, taste, and you know they're all memorable, absolutely. Your senses, and I mean, especially getting the tactile senses involved, uh, using music. So you have audio, lots of sound effects. Um, you know, of course it's a visualization. So there's a lot of visual, um, you know, sense going on, but smell can be hugely helpful. You know, you imagine, uh, how your grandparents house smelled or, you know, you smell something that doesn't smell very good. Like these things are all very memorable. E, exaggerate. Make things you are trying to remember as exaggerated as possible. If I am trying to remember to buy eggs, I think of someone throwing eggs at my front door. Not one, but a hundred eggs. Imagine the mess, the smell. Link it with the location, the front door. And the link it with the location thing, it's possible to do at the front door because, you know, you're leaving the front door, so... That's to remind you to buy eggs, but maybe even better, like, it, depending on your circumstances. But for me... Uh, there's a little shop where I can buy eggs in my apartment complex. And so perhaps I imagine the same thing, but just happening as I'm walking by the shop. So I imagine myself walking by the shop and then suddenly a bunch of giants start throwing eggs at me and maybe they're all, uh, you know, completely nude because that's more memorable and the smell of them hitting me, whatever. But it's the fact that I link it to the location being right outside the shop means that I'm more likely to, when it matters, go buy eggs. See what I mean? So it's like, uh, if you just do it at the front door, the problem with that is that maybe you remember when you're at the front door, but you're not in a position to buy eggs at the front door. You're in a position to buy eggs when you're at the shop. So absolutely, uh, exaggeration can be hugely helpful. All right, Seahorse, S-E-A, action. If you put some action into what you're trying to remember, it also becomes more memorable. Imagine carefully stepping through the 100 broken eggs. Suddenly you slip, fall, and land on your back. Action. Memorable. Right. Absolutely. This is, um, you know, kind of the final step of the Henzo movie method when we, you know, first we get your, your actor, your set, your props, your room within the set, and they're all there, but they're just sort of sitting there until you make them interact, and that's the meaning of the character. And so the action is, you know, hugely important. H. Humor. Adding humor can also make things memorable. If I also need to buy cat food, imagine resting on the couch and you are attacked by a giant cat. Imagine it as a cartoon with a giant ball of dust, feet and hand flying everywhere. Memorable. So, yeah, and then, you know, humor, it's tricky because not it's not like you always know, like sometimes humor is somewhat improvisational in the moment it comes up and like, you know, there's an opportunity for something to be funny and you can't always predict it. However, I would say that whenever you can make something silly, go for it because it does make things more memorable for sure. Oh, order. If you need to remember an order or sequence, create a journey. Start in a room of your house, go around the room in a particular order, hanging things to remember onto items in the room. A bedside table, for example. When you rewalk through the room in the same direction, you will be able to more easily remember items in a specific order. Yeah, nice. And this isn't as necessary to do with the Henza movie method because 
Uh, it's kind of all happening in one location for one fact, and which is a single Chinese character. So it's less order based. But there are a lot of things where you might do this. For example, uh, if you want to remember, say, like the order of the periodic table of elements, you could do a journey method through the various uh, sections of uh, say a gymnasium because it's rather big so you want to have a, a bigger location but you know some you could probably do it in your house and then uh, another good one is when you're doing a speech um, because you're gonna like I want to say this and then connect it to this point and then connect it to this point and so it's very journey based uh, I used to, I used to do that uh, when we were preparing our speeches that we were making in Chinese for entrepreneurship competitions and I did it to help prepare myself for a TED talk that I did so yeah that, that journey method can really help R repetition so this will be any spaced repetition software like Anki S symbols sometimes using symbols can connect similar things that you want to remember a cross or a big tick yet you know symbols in general are one of the most amazing things about human beings like that we can take something that is incredibly complex and narrow it down to just a quick symbol like the the little man on a bathroom that tells you this is the men's room and the slightly modified version of it that has a little dress to show you it's the women the woman's room i mean like those things aren't people it's a flat bit of plastic that just has some color contrast and yet you know exactly what it is because our we're 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 able to take incredibly complex things and abstract them down to simple iconic representations. And so the fact that we're able to do that is very, it's highly indicative of what skills we have as human beings and that we can take advantage of that. So absolutely. E, enjoy. Have fun and you'll remember more. I can't, I couldn't agree with that more. When you're getting into the Hanzi movie method and you're learning characters, I'd highly recommend taking a moment to just chill and recognize this is fun and silly like the fact that you can come up with different uh, scenarios that involve fictional characters or people from your life and they're you know there's there's going to be lots of different props and and objects that could create scenarios that are wild you know oh Shaquille O'Neal what are you doing in my parents kitchen with a badger and a screwdriver like geez you know it's, it's sort of silly and fun and so that's the seahorse acronym senses exaggerate action humor order repetition symbols enjoy of course you don't have to use all these seahorse items perhaps just one or two to make things memorable absolutely well thank you merrick for that and uh by the way, I've actually contacted Dominic O'Brien before to see if he wants to come on the podcast and talk about uh, his memory techniques. So, you know, maybe uh, maybe you, if you're good friends with him, you could mention how great Mandarin Blueprint is because uh, we would love to have him on on and chat with him about his experiences. Thank you for If you found this video valuable and you'd like us to help you reach fluency and literacy in Mandarin Chinese as fast as possible without all the headache of traditional learning methods, just head to mandarinblueprint.com to learn more. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell below to be notified every time we release a new video. And of course, 保重!